there, there. Hello. Happy Monday. Not raining. Not raining, so it's a happy Monday. Now, I've got a few things to show you today. I'll read out my Irish Hatful book. What she says. She's talking about individuality here. And, uh, you know, I think there's two pages stuck together there. Oh, no, it's just a thick page. Like me, I'm a bit thick. Oh no, there was two pages, yeah. Right, here we go. Irisisms. If you're going to sit there and do the same damn thing all the time, you might as well jump in the box yourself. I agree with that. You have to push yourself, stretch your boundaries. <laughs> I don't like the norm. I'm with you on that one, Iris. I don't like the norm either. I think it's an awful thing to look like everybody else. Agree with you there, Iris, yeah. People have called me an artist. No, they haven't. And said I use myself as a canvas. I never considered myself. I guess I am an artist because I do a lot of artistic things. Maybe I would like to consider myself to be a crochet artist. I don't think other people would describe me as that, but... Maybe I would like to be a crochet artist. I would love to sit and design. Have the ability to write patterns, to design things. I don't. I do things in my head and they work out when I'm doing them for myself. But I couldn't do different sizes, you know what I mean? I couldn't. I can't conceive that, how you scale it up, down, whatever. I just know what I'm aiming at and I aim for it, yeah. In some way, I suppose I am a designer of sorts, but I only design what I want to design. <laughs> right. We'll do two more, then we'll stop. I always tell people to follow their dreams and be true to themselves, not just be a carbon copy of what they think they should be, because then they're going to go through life miserable. When you don't dress like everyone else, you don't have to think like everyone else. I certainly don't think like anybody else. I'm definitely one of my own. Yeah. Well, where have I been today? I've been to the library. And for once, it was a bit windy, but it wasn't too bad. Didn't get blown away or anything like that. So I went to the library. That's where I've been today. What's on my mannequin today? It's one from out the shed that I'm hoping to put for sale when I ever get anything to put on my Kofi. It's um, a granny square, short-sleeved, but I decided to do pastel shades this time. Oops, she's got a tuck in her back. I did pastel shades. But, I don't know whether everybody likes pastel shades. I don't, actually. You know, I'm not a lover of pastel colours. And it's got lovely little rainbow buttons on. Rainbows. I don't like pastel shades, but that's just myself. Loads of other people say they like... A number of people who like this throw behind me. Untrue. Untrue. Personally, I don't like it. Too wishy-washy. Yeah. Anyway, what have I been doing? Well, I've got a magazine to show you, so I'll get around to that. Yeah. I started off doing this crochet surprise jacket. It's based on the knitted one that Elizabeth Zimmerman did. I've done the knitted one by Elizabeth Simon, Zinnemann. Somebody was kind enough to donate me the pattern. This one's by um, Jenny King Designs and it's a crochet one. I got about halfway through it and I thought, this doesn't seem to be working out right. Then I discovered Australia double crochet is like English double crochet. I'd been thinking it was like American double crochet, which is our treble, yeah? So guess who'd been trebling when she should have been double crocheting? So I had to pull the whole thing back. It's one of those weird things, you knit it all in one and then you have to work out how you fold it to get it to look like that. Mm -hmm. It's a paid for pattern, by the way, before you ask me. Jenny King Designs, crochet surprise jacket for baby. I bought it ages ago, never made it. Probably will never make it because I went right off it because I did about three quarters of it and I thought, this isn't right, it's too big. Yes, it 
it was too big because Janet was doing trebles when she should have been doing double crochets. Mm -hmm. Well, as you know, I bought a set of needles, long set of four needles because I cannot use circulars. But when I get the set, it went 275,350. No mention of a 3 or a 325, so I had to order these from, um, oh, I can't remember where I ordered them from, online anyway, somewhere. So I got a pair that are Addy, and they are 3mm, and I probably paid as much for this one set of needles as I paid for the whole set of the others. Yeah, but that is bad, bad. What have I been doing? Well, I showed you I've been doing those little baby jackets that came out teeny weeny tiny. The ones with the little pink and the pink on. I decided I'd do one for a little boy. First of all, I put buttons for its eyes and it looked like it was very startled. So I took the buttons off and made little dotty things. It still looks very startled, but hey-ho. So that's supposed to be a bear of some description. It's got its little bow in little bow in royal blue. I think maybe it would look more like a bear if I'd have done it in a different colour. <laughs> but anyway, it's finished now. So because they came out very tiny, I got my brain working, which was a bit hard because I had to rev it up a bit. And um, I scaled it up. This yarn is the one that I used as a contrast when I did the knitted sweater. So I had it left over, so I thought, well, I'll try it. So I don't know whether you think it works or not for a little one, but not everybody wants pastel colours. Um, I mean, I think it's Sheila that's been asked to do baby cardigans in black. I did get asked to do baby cardigans in black once, but she was goth, so that's why, yeah. So this one, I had to put darker buttons on because I didn't have anything like the shade. But that's what this one turned out like. So I had to, like I say, scale up the pattern, which I think I did quite well. Blow my own trumpet. Do, 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 do. So that's what that one is. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what I'm going to do next because I don't feel like restarting the baby surprise jacket when it went horribly wrong, you know. Still, never mind. Anyway, what am I going to show you today? I have got through the post, which I have not looked at yet. Simply Crochet 152. I can't do every page like Tracy from Crochet Rocks does. So probably she will do a much better in depth than I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, it says Granny Ain't Square, Sweet as Honey, a Portuguese Mijo doll. I'm tuned into tropical, tropical with the blankets. Yeah. And it also came with a granny square supplement, yeah. And my phones are going zzzt, zzzt. So no doubt somebody wants me. I don't think they do. It'll be some stupid message about the Olympic Games. Introducing West Yorkshire Spinners Retreat Twist Chunky. Advert, obviously. If it's wool, I will not be able to wear it because I am like Sheila. I twitch and I itch and I get a rash. Right. Crochet is a craft where traditional skills and patterns are passed on through the ages from mother to daughter. Well, not in my case because my mum didn't really crochet, but she, she did it. We continue that tradition in this magazine and include treasures like this Portuguese folk doll in this issue. If you do amigurumi, that's very cute. If I did amigurumi, I would probably do all the pieces and it would look like a Frankenstein's monster. I never get it right. Never get the stuffing right, never get the eyes right. And they look really misshapen. I keep thinking, I'll have another try then. I think, nah. See, my phone's going zzz, zzz. It's a good job it's... I've turned it on to silent, otherwise you'd be going tickle ling 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 all the way through. Right. Cascade Yarn. Simple Shell. A free pattern by Linda Dean. I presume you have to Google um, Cascade Yarns to get the free pattern. Which is very, very simple, which you wouldn't really need a pattern for anyway. It looks like two rectangles. 
maybe has a bit of shaping for the neck, but hey, up. Right, hooked granny square day is here. Is it really? Oh. 15th of August, granny square day. Did you know that? I didn't. I don't know whether they're in this booklet that they're giving me. Freebie, but probably they are. But probably I've seen a lot of them before. Right. Inspiring books. Oh, gosh, what have we got with inspiring books? Colourful crochet birds, $14.95. Stylish crochet for the home, $10.99. Crochet costume party. Is it kitty wearing a crochet beard? Yeah. Uh, $14.99. And a starter guide to Tunisian crochet. That's another thing I need to do. I've got loads of books about it. Those are the pictures of the books. No doubt, as I said, Tracy will do a lot in depth because she has the overhead gantry thing. Oh, there's something similar to what I've just been doing, isn't it? That little... I don't know whether it's a pattern you have to buy or whatever. You will find the patterns for baby clothes and other accessories at www.wolcouturecompany.com no, hmm. Whether they're free, whether you have to buy them, I know not. But it looks like it's top down and it's done in our double crochet, if you're American, single crochet is what it looks like. Yeah. Yarns and colours all available at Lovecraft. I have ordered, I think, from Lovecraft, but as you know, I'm on a no-buy zone. No-buy. Joe, Janet, no-buy. Right, Life's a Beach. If you're into blankets, dare I say that word, I'm not into blankets, but if you're into blankets and you feel the urge to make one, there you go. Right, totally tropical. What on earth is that? Oh, it's trimming up your flip-flops with a flower. You could use a flower for other, other things, couldn't you? You don't have to trim your flip-flops if you don't want to. Right, what's this? Oh, a, a case for your sunglasses. And that one is rather nice. It's just a purchased bag, I would imagine. It looks like a purchased straw bag and then you put all the flowers on it. That's something to do with your crochet flowers if you don't know what to do with them, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Coasters. At least they're flat. When you make coasters with them. Coasters and they insist on using like relief crochet. You put your glass on and it tips right over. There we are. Oh, oh, I'm covering one up with my hand. For watermelon or whatever. Orange, lemon, whatever. And then we have got uh, Club Tropicana. What is it? Decorate your fence with some lanterns. If you remember, I was going to decorate my decking, but now I don't have a decking. Never mind. Maybe one day I'll have a decking. Right. A little ray of sunshine. Granny squares at the bottom. Nice plain dress, if you like. I, I can't show my knees. I'd have to wear trousers underneath it. I've got very thin skin on my legs and it's all patchy and mottled. It looks like it's been burned. It hasn't. It's remnants of all things, you know, that have happened to my legs over the years. But they don't, I don't like showing them in public. Yeah. If I had a tan, you know, maybe I could get a spray tan. But maybe the spray tan would go patchy. It's kind of like vitiligo, but red and white, if you know what I mean. Not brown and white. There's Hello Dolly. There's your little Dolly Dolly. I'm sure lots of you are rushing to want to make her. If you're good at making amigurumis. Going Dutch. It's a bag with... It looks like a lighthouse or something. It looks like a lighthouse on one side of it. And then on the other side of it, I presume, is a, a boat of some description. Sailing boat. Mm. Bags must be lined, in my opinion. Right, if you subscribe today, you are lucky enough to get a Chenille yarn pack worth £36. I doubt that very much. 
they look like very teeny tiny balls of chenille and I was sure that they're not worth 36 pence but that's just me. Right, peaches and cream, here we go with the cover sweater. Looks very, very chunky, doesn't it? You'd have to be slender to carry that one off. Right, alpaca, drops alpaca. Yes, it's chunky. Kid silk mohair. What do you do? Use them together. Ah. Featherweight sweater is stitched with soft silky yarns, making it a dream of a design. Do you use both together? Why would you need them all? Why would you need kid silk and alpaca as well? Does it say knit them together? Crush them together, sorry? Oh, I don't know. The top is made in separate parts which are stitched together. Yeah, work with yarn A and yarn B held together. You could always do the tension swatch. <laughs> so she who never does one. You could always do a tension swatch with some other yarn and see if you could get it right, couldn't you? True Colours. Anna Marie of Crochet Highway shows her love of colour work. In other words, Fair Isle, which we used to call it Fair Isle. And she's sitting there with a little birdie on her shoulder. Yeah. I envy people who've got craft rooms where you can put your wool on display and stuff. I know I've got the shed. It's not the same. Not the same. So she does colour work. Yeah. My friend at the library is doing a blanket uh, at the moment in that mosaic crochet. I don't know whether I would have the patience for it. Sweet as honey. You can get a real buzz from stitching Fiona Kirk's cute cardigan for a bonnie baby. That's quite sweet, isn't it? That's sweet. It's got a little collar too. It's got bees. I've got some buttons with bees on. I think I got them off eBay. Beautiful buttons. It's in double knitting. Yeah. And it goes from 0 to 6 months to 12 to 24. She's got little bee buttons on it as well. Ooh. Little bee buttons. Mine actually are in the shape of bees, I think. Right, here we go. Mandala Magic. Two designers coming up with different designs using the same wool. I need to make some mandalas actually. I've got some crochet, not crochet hoops, embroidery hoops that I need to use to make mandalas. Whether I will ever do them is another matter, but oh, I'm not keen on that. Poppy pastel shades bringing Florentia Campos Camarera's contemporary cushion God, that was a lot of alliteration, wasn't it? Campus Carrere's Contemporary Cushion. Well, it's the colours I don't like, I don't know. Might be nice done in dark, rich colours. A bit like a stained glass window, wouldn't it, then? That'd be more me. Right, we've got Golden Glow, a quick stitch cowl by Becky Skews. Skews, sorry. So Jar Jules put this to me. You like a cowl? I can never wear a cowl. I never know quite what to do with them. Right, Blaze of Glory, if you want to do. Well, it's kind of granny squares, but different. If you want to do a blanket. It's kind of different if you look at it. It's not traditional granny square. Because it's got like half, well, three quarters of a granny square and half a granny square. Around the edge. Stylecraft Bellissimo. Six millimetre. So it's got to be iron, hasn't it? Or, or chunky. Yeah. Uh huh. It begins with standard granny squares, then it goes to partial granny squares. There are lots of ends, so we recommend you weave them in as you go along. Oh, that's where it shows you what it looks like altogether. Hmm, lots of three quarters of granny squares, isn't it? Right. Rise of the resellers. Lifting the lid on crochet pattern piracy 
and how you can make a stand against it. There's a lot of that about. Everybody copies, don't they? I don't sell pounds, so I can't be accused of it. I amend patterns and I alter patterns, but I never say they're mine. That's the difference, isn't it? I never say they're my patterns and try to pass them off as me on. I don't do that, so I'm not guilty. We all take inspiration from other people's patterns, let's face it. But it's the ones who blatantly just copy somebody else's design, stick their name on it and say that they've designed it. I mean, that is wrong. Because somebody's gone to all the trouble, haven't they, of designing it, working out all the stitches, probably spending hours and hours and hours doing the mathematics to get it right. And then somebody comes along and just pinches it. And probably makes more money than the person who, you know, did it in the first place. I do think it's wrong, yeah. Sunflower type mats, yeah. As I say, it won't happen to me because <laughs> I don't design patterns. Clutch crash. No, clash, not crash. Mustard meets neon pink in Laura Strutt's stylish handbag. Well, that's... I need straps on mine because, you know, being on the scooter, I need a crossbody. Make a nice makeup pouch or something like that, won't it? You know, if you've got the line in it, at least you could wash it. If you have spillages, you know, from your powder or whatever it is you use, yeah. Whatever. Q is for quirky. Talking about the different yarns. Once again, Tracy will do a much better review than I will. Rico Fashion Rainbow Mohair Rainbows. Five ninety nine for a hundred gram. I suppose that's no for twenty five gram. Sorry. Mm, that's quite dear, isn't it? Right, it's nice, but it's quite expensive, isn't it? Unless it goes a long way. Flipping it, yeah. Anyway, sheep jeep sort of gauges, whichever you want to call it. Sweetheart soft chunky, five pound eighty for a hundred gram. It looks a bit textured to me. I don't know whether you can see it or not. Right, signet. Veti or Yeti, Yeti it is, sorry, Chunky, £4.79 for a 100 gram, again that looks like it's textured to me. Oh. King Cole Opium, oh, I think we're doing that, must be textures again, Chunky Knit, 4 19 100 gram. Yeah, look, they all look like they're thick and thin or bubbly or something, Boucle. Is that a word? Stylecraft Charm Lace Weight. Oh, that would take some crochet. You'd have to have a fine hook for that one. Oh, 11 99 But it is 200 grams and it's got 1,084 metres. So you could probably make a shawl with just one, couldn't you? Right, last one. Rowan Tweed Haze Chunky. £14.65. Oh my goodness, and it's a 50 grand. Do you think I made of money? Where's it gone? There. Oh gosh, that will never get its way into my basket. Unless somebody gives it me, which I doubt very much. Doubt it very much. Right. What have we got? Oh, Denise has just done that. That little little thing there. Denise has just done that for her. Her husband's niece, I think it was for. Yeah. Don't think she did it in those colours, but she did it, yeah. Silly Sausage, Sausage Dog. These are all your makes. You send them in when you've done it. What is your favourite summer top to crochet? Oh. Can't even read it. It looks like a vent crochet. Oh, vest top. 54% say a vest top. 23% say whatever top. Butter cup top. 23% say a tie fronted top. Nobody wants to do a bando top. Depends on your age group, doesn't it? All the young, sweet young things wear bandos, don't they? Because they've got no boo boos, have they, you know? They don't have to safely gather everything in, do they? Next issue. 
fringe jacket bright granny bag lace yoke jumper stars and moon tote cute bat amig roomy crochet sunflower bouquet easy baby blanket colorful crochet the jewel blanket fun textured cowl extra just for you nutcracker amig roomy four festive characters to hook and that's the jacket that's the fringe jacket that they will be sending us and if you want to know what the amigurumi is going to be like to hook, there they all are at the bottom. But you're all a dog about that, aren't you? Right, we've got the how-tos and the whatnots and the things and the jiggles, yeah. Highland Fling. Six reasons to follow Sarah McLeod and model husband Sean of Crochet of the Glen. They always feature people on the back page, don't they, each week. I will never be featured, you can get your boots on that. Rickaroomy Shroom. You want to crochet mushrooms? Rickaroomy Shroom. No doubt you have to buy the patterns. Hmm. Oh look, that's funny because I've just put that up there, haven't I, without looking at the magazine. Didn't look at the magazine. What's on the back cover? Oh, very chunky though, isn't it? Warm and toasty, King Cole. It looks very much like that blanket yarn, doesn't it? Gosh, that wouldn't take you two minutes, would it, with those great big squares? Oh. Anyway, talking about squares, if I've got time, we're on this book. 40 fabulous granny squares. Do you know, I'm sure they've given this out before. I swear they have given it out before. If you look at them, you can go with me and think, yeah, I've seen these all before. I'm sure you have seen them all before. But either way, there's 40 of them. 40 of them. Oh, you've got more. Come here, there's more. So if you want granny squares, you need to get this crochet book. Simply Crochet 152, I think I said, didn't I? Right, let's have a look. Oh, there's some more at the back. We haven't finished yet. There's some more. In fact, there's 40 of them. 40 of them. And on the back page, that's telling me to shut up, so that's just about right, isn't it? We've got another jacket in squares. Anyway, that just about worked right. Usually I can't sell you the supplement because I run out of time. Right, shut up for Thank you. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for my regular subscribers. Thank you very much, very much for my new subscribers. You're all very welcome. As I said before, thumbs up, subscribe, notification bell. Tell all your friends that they have to come and watch this nutty woman for a free one. Well, if really from Manchester or if you're going further back than that, really from Royton. But, hmm, hey ho, I'm here at the moment in Fleetwood. <laughs> when I win the lottery, of course, I could be anywhere. Preferably somewhere warm. Preferably around the world cruise. I did win five pounds on this week's lottery, but that won't get me very far, will it? Well, buy me a ticket for the next lottery. Anyway, bye for now. Happy Monday. Bye now. Pray that I can upload this video. Fingers crossed. Bye.